Hey guys, this is Ren. Um, it's been a while since I vlogged because, as you knew, um, I downed my bike. And um, this is just going to be a test ride actually to see if it's okay. And um, yeah, I don't know if you could tell from here, but the fork, like this is going straight forward. The fork is bent now. So I'm riding like this. <laughs> Which is a little funny, but uh, yeah, it's not the greatest situation I've been in. And let's see. Oh, it seems to be doing better. Than, oh, yeah, see, here we go. The idle is about 1,000, maybe 500 sometimes. It's, I don't know, like, the idle changer won't, uh, won't affect it really. So, this is just a test run to see if bike's okay. I mean, obviously it's got some problems. It hasn't stalled yet, but I'm kind of expecting that. Um, so, yeah, like right there, it's definitely got some, uh, idling issues it goes very low and like if a bike could be sick that's what it feels like right now like it feels like a zuna is sick right now it's just very low power very low idle and generally not feeling good and i'm not liking it and um i'm actually gonna um, ride to where i crashed right now um <coughs> to see if there's anything i miss um, but so far, <clears throat> I took I took a look at the bike after the crash, and I don't remember. I I, I did all the protocol. I checked anything and see if anything fell off. Um, but nothing. Everything was intact, so that's that's good at least. I don't have to buy any new parts, but <clears throat> I will have to probably fix it up somehow. Um, cause yeah, she's not feeling good right now. Something in the some one that one the. Um, when the collision went, went went down, that that uh <clears throat> that impact did something to the engine, and I don't know what's going on now, but it, yeah, she does not feel good. Um, so I'm gonna just try to review everything that I did wrong when I went there, and uh, <clears throat> this is a, also a video for uh my friend Al. Um, if you guys didn't know, I used to live in San Jose, and if you guys live anywhere in the San Jose area, um, Al is an awesome, awesome dude. He is an expert at Ninja 250s. He's got, he's like the, he's like the, he's like the, the renegade doctor of Ninja 250s. If you, if you don't want to go to a shop and pay 50 billion dollars for a part that, you know, you just need, um, you know, just to pork wrench and just like take out then you need this dude like Al is awesome and um he, he knows his shit and he like goes like San Francisco and like goes to other people's bikes and fixes them and it's just awesome what he does and it's all under the table it's nothing you know you have to write him down so if you, if you have a problem that you don't want to pay so much money for then he's your man I'm telling you he knows his shit if you have a Ninja 250 so he does a new, he uses a newer one too, the 08s, 09s, he'll do those too. Um, but yeah, this is mostly a video to see if he can try to figure out the problem to this. Um, because I'm not living in San Jose anymore, so maybe a video can help him understand what's going on. It seems to be idling okay now, what's that? 2,000, what the heck? That's not the normal idle, but it's better than 1,000. Um, So yeah, it's got some throttle issues too. Not really too sure if it's if it's part of the handlebar when it went down, because the handlebar did bend. So maybe it like messed with the the cable length or something like that when it goes into here. Like I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's definitely got some issues with that. Um, ooh. But brakes are okay. Everything else is fine. It's just yeah, the throttle is not responsive anymore. Um, 
and definitely the handlebar is bent, the fork is bent, which is... I'm not, I'm not paying for a new fork, you know how much those cost, right? It's like, ridiculous, it's not even worth it. So this is where it went down, guys, right here. Right here.